Um, what about what Scoop did? I immediately started crying. She hit it, and with Shockey on first base, you know she's going to score. And as soon as I saw the safe symbol, I'm luckily the one that got to tell Shockey, get down, get down. Um, so I saw her get safe, and I looked at Scoop. I just I started tearing up. Um, it's just something – I've been with her for four years, and you see someone that's been through such a body of work like that. You see her day in and day out just living for moments like that. So actually getting to do that and come through for – her team on her senior day, that's unreal. That's something that you wish for any kid that's playing on this field. So um, it was an awesome experience. I, I wouldn't wish that for anyone better than Skip. That was amazing. What do you say, I guess, about the, these senior seniors, fellow seniors, Jasmine and, and Scoop, and the way you guys handle these late inning situations? Yeah, I think a lot of it's just composure. Um, we're a veteran team, especially in the infield. Like we we've we've been there, we've played at the World Series, so we know what it's like to be in those high pressure situations often. Um, and I know a lot of it too is we just trust our team, and we know that we can come back and win in games like that. Especially being at home, we have that advantage of we can walk it off. So um, we know we're in every single game this year. Especially we're super competitive. We keep ourselves poised. We know that we've we've been here. We've been in these situations, so nothing gets too kind of nothing gets too big for us right now. How do you look back at your uh, four years here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's crazy that it's already here. Um, that senior days are already come and gone. Um, I just I looked off to the side, saw Izzy Pacho and her and I last year were very very close, and I just remember I feel like it was a blink of an eye that I was here last year with Izzy celebrating her senior night, um, and now we're here, and I just. I'm grateful. I think that that's the biggest thing, the biggest word. Grateful for Coach Kendrea for giving me the opportunity when I was a sophomore in high school to commit and say I wanted to be a Wildcat. He said, I don't have much for you, but I can get you a jersey. And I was like, perfect. I just want to sit. If I could sit the bench for four years, beautiful. And it turned out to obviously be a little bit more than that. But um, it's been such an awesome journey, and I would do it all again if I could get the chance to. Do you remember your first conversation with him and your first conversation with Caitlin and what, what those were like? Yeah, honestly, I got recruited out of a camp my freshman year. I didn't even come as a recruit. I just kind of I was hitting in the cage one day, and Coach Iveson brought Coach Kendrea over to watch me hit. And he was like, hey, are you in town tomorrow? I want to come on a visit. And I was like, yeah, are you kidding me? Um, so it just that relationship kind of started there. And just we kept up with each other for about a year. And so he'd come watch me play in club ball, and we'd, we'd say hello and be polite and a year later I committed and so yeah we've had a lot of conversations over the years and it's very special to have him here on a day like today and just be able to kind of give him that that thank you and the gratitude that I feel like he deserves for giving us all a shot. An emotional weekend overall mm -hmm. two very close games um, both come from behind wins on top of the decades can you just kind of talk us through all the emotions of the weekend? Yeah there's a lot of emotions and especially you add in ASU on top of it that's that's the big one for us um, that's a team that we always want to beat especially at home and on senior weekend um, and I couldn't be prouder of the girls for sticking it out and playing it through seven innings every single game except for Saturday we got five which is nice um, yeah it's just can you continue to show up and grind and no matter what opportunities we get we're going to take them in stride and the alumni weekend was amazing. Getting all the players back was so cool. Getting to see like Alyssa Denham, who I got to play with my freshman year, was amazing. Getting her to come back and, Sky, you look so grown up. And I was like, I have grown up a little bit. But um, it's really cool to see the 50 generations. I had tears in my eyes when they brought out all the players from the 70s and on. Um, just so cool to continue the legacy and get to play for something bigger than ourselves. And what's it been like playing here at Hillenbrand with the atmosphere and the fans and what, what, what will you kind of miss? You can't about that? beat it. I think that's the biggest thing is that I will forever be grateful that this was home for me um, and for all of us as seniors is that we got to play in front of thousands of people every weekend and that's something that not a lot of programs across the country get to do and we're I like to say we're a softball school we get people out in the stands and we have just the the greatest fans that show up on 95 degree days and sit out here and watch us play and no matter what stay after for an hour and a half um, just to say hi and the fans are great the Tucson community is phenomenal and I'm I'm so thankful that I got to play for it mindset knowing that you have one more home game left here yeah it's crazy I'm not gonna cry about that yet um, I think that's gonna be the tougher one today was kind of nice because I was like at least I have one more I know that this isn't the double whammy of senior night and last game at Rita but um, it's taking it all in I think we can't look past GCU because they're a team that can sneak up on people so um, it's just taking it all in but at the same time just continuing to compete because at the end of the day we have to win games and be ready to continue on into postseason what do you want to be known for uh, after all your, all your time here? This right here. Um, the the girls hanging around for 
post-game autographs and the, the players that I've been able to hopefully inspire a little bit for the next generation. Um, that's what I had when I was younger, is growing up watching players that I wanted to be like. And if I can give that back in any sort of capacity for these kids, that's, that's the goal. Um, it's been unreal to be able to do that for them. And I know you guys can see that I'm the one that's typically the last one. And I wait for every kid to get their signature, every kid to get their picture, everything. Um, it's all about giving back. That's what I want to be remembered for is being the player that, one, yes, I'm thankful that I've had the career that I've had. But at the end of the day, I feel like I've proven so much more outside of the actual game than anything else. Is there a particular message that Caitlin gave the seniors uh, after the game? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much a big thank you. Um, and I think that that's one big thing for our group that I would like to say, too, is just Thank you for sticking it out with Arizona Wildcats. I know we've had some up and down bumpy roads and our class decided to stay and um, kind of build what we have right now. So I think it's thank you, gratitude, and just you show up consistently every day and you get rewarded for the hard work that you put in. So especially for someone like Scoopin, you put in the hard work every day and you're going to get rewarded like that. So yeah, just a whole lot of thank yous.